Hello, my name is Leonard House, and today I'll be reading Have You Thanked an Inventor Today? Written by Patrice McLaurin, illustrated by Diane Wang, and published by Digital Arts Incorporated. This world is full of inventions. Some of them we don't even think about. <laughs> but if we took the time to think about them, we'd realize we wouldn't want to live without them. You see, inventions, they make our lives much easier. And they also make our lives more fun. So we should thank the inventors who invent great inventions, for without them, we might not get anything done. Like, for instance, when your mom wakes you up in the morning to let you know that it's time to go to school, you stretch and yawn, rub the corners of your eyes, and probably wipe away last night's drool. That's when you happen to glance over at your clock and realize that you're running a bit late. Well, you wouldn't know it were it not for Benjamin Banneker. He invented the first clock in the United States. So you put on clothes and you rush into the bathroom. You wash your face and brush your teeth, then brush your hair. Well, you should thank Lida Newman for part of your morning grooming as the modern day hairbrush was her awesome idea. Afterwards, you're called into the kitchen for breakfast. This morning it's cereal with fruit and wheat toast. Well, thank goodness John Standard improved the refrigerator because hot milk with your cereal is pretty gross. And when you're on your way to school, whether you're a bus rider, a car rider, or you walk, you have to thank Garrett Morgan for the traffic light. Otherwise, none of our streets would be safe to cross. Then, after you've settled into your classroom and you've taken out your supplies because you're such a scholar, please remember to show love to Mr. John Love, for his invention was none other than the pencil sharpener. Now, as much as I know that you love to learn, you'll admit that sometimes lunch is your favorite time of day. Well, you can thank John Robinson for your lunchbox, but for what's inside it, it's your mom that you need to thank. And what does mom usually pack in your lunchbox? Tasty snacks that make your belly go yum? Like peanut butter made popular by George Washington Carver or potato chips invented by George Crumb. Fast forward, the school day is over now. It's been a long one and you're happy to be home. You check the mailbox invented by P. Downing, then chill in front of the air conditioner invented by Frederick Jones. Plus, your teacher didn't assign any homework. So you decide to play a few games on the cell phone. Well, if it wasn't for Henry Sampson's gamma electric cell, believe it or not, there would be no cell phone. And these are just a few awesome inventions. There are countless other ones that I didn't even mention. Like the doorknob invented by O. Dorsey or a type of guitar invented by Robert Fleming. Sarah Boone invented the ironing board, and Thomas Stewart invented the mop. Lonnie Johnson invented the super soaker, and W.A. Martin, he improved the lock. So now, here's what I want you to do. I'd like for you to take a moment or two and ponder over how life would be if these inventions weren't created for you. Then as you lie in your bed this evening and you think about how your day was spent, don't forget to thank an inventor. Then dream about what you'd like to invent. I hope you've enjoyed hearing our story today and I hope you've learned something new about the inventors who created some of the items that you use every day. Maybe it has inspired you to think of something that you'd like to invent. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you have a great day.